I'm Marcy Gonzalez in for Diana Perez. And I'm John Muller. Our colleagues at Como TV, ABC's affiliate in Seattle, are in mourning today after a fatal crash involving the station's helicopter. The fully fueled chopper was lifting off from the station's roof when it suddenly dropped to the street below and exploded, not far from the city's famous Space Needle. ABC's Lana Zak is there. Good morning, John and Marcy. I'm here in the Como TV complex. Directly above me is the helicopter launch pad. And as you can see, we are so close to the iconic Seattle Space Needle, just about 200 yards from here. That's where tour groups and school children would often congregate. Many are saying it's a wonder that more weren't caught by these tragic events. In the shadow of the Seattle Space Needle. The report of a helicopter into the Space Needle down on the ground now. Uh, cars involved on fire. The chopper flown by ABC affiliate Como TV had just refueled and was lifting off from the station's roof when it dropped suddenly to the street below and exploded. It was unstable. It was pitching and going up and down. It was like its tail wobbled, so it did like a couple tail spins, and then it just swooped down and, and hit. Flames and dark smoke engulfed the cockpit, and the chopper came crashing down on three vehicles that were driving by. Somebody forced their way out of one of the vehicles. They were still on fire, ran into the street, and we beat out the flames. Two drivers escaped. A third man was severely burned. Killed on impact, the two in the chopper, beloved Como photographer Bill Strothman and pilot Gary Fitzner. We have reached the point here where we can talk about the two people that we have lost. This will be a, a very difficult time. Investigators are now looking for clues on what went wrong. We're looking at everything. We're looking at the environment, the weather, the pilot, the operators in the helicopter, as well as the helicopter itself, as well as the background of all of the above. Investigators say that they hope to have a preliminary report in as little as five days, though they caution that answers may take much, much longer. Lana Zach, ABC News, Seattle. Back to you, John and Marcy.